With the coronavirus forcing us to stay home, it's meant that a lot of businesses can no longer operate, at least not in the way they used to. Today, we're exploring how different industries are getting creative and adapting their business for these strange times. Lots of companies have been put in a tough spot, but we're seeing all sorts of creativity come out from these businesses of different shapes and sizes. We'll be placing links in the description to any of the businesses or services we mentioned here today, so be sure to check them out. This gift shop called Missing Peace in Nazareth, Pennsylvania has turned to Facebook Live to stay connected with their customers. I just want to remind everyone that while parties are canceled right now, birthdays are not. Lots of people with spring birthdays will be spending them home alone, which is a huge bummer, and a gift would definitely make that day more special. Several times a week, the owners of Missing Peace, Karen and Rick Sampson, will host these lunchtime chats with their customers. They give the viewers a little tour of the store and highlight their products. Karen hosts the videos and Rick holds the camera and he chimes in every once in a while. And they have this really natural and funny back and forth. A little higher. You want me to cover my face? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you're a regular riot, you are. <laughs> you know what? Maybe next week I'll switch things and have him do this if he thinks it's so easy. And he can describe it and I'll videotape. <laughs> yeah. Each day they focus on a different theme, like jewelry, houseware, and tons of other gift items. The personality really shines through these live videos, which has caused a lot of engagement in the chat. They'll also do one-on-one -on -one FaceTimes with customers to help them find the right gift. And if anyone wants it, they'll just ship it out to them. Lots of people need a haircut after not being able to go to the salon, but cutting their own hair will probably yield disastrous results. Hairstylists can't really function normally at this time, but some salons have figured out ways to still serve their customers. They've adapted by offering virtual consultations and online Zoom tutorials. One example of this is Taji Natural Hairstyling in Raleigh, North Carolina. The difference within YouTube with YouTube is that you look at this um, amazing video and it has this fantastic ending, and then you try it on your hair and you're like, that didn't work out. How do I, how, that didn't translate well. So in this way, you can ask questions. The stylist can say, hey, wait, no, actually reverse your hands that way. Maybe you should try this technique. They have an easy online system for people to book these live classes and consultations, and they've shown why these are more valuable than simple YouTube tutorials. Even though gym locations are currently closed, a lot of them have made the transition to offering virtual at-home workout classes. Some are offering personal training sessions with their clients, while others are going live on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Zoom, while still others are offering pre-recorded classes. Nike has made its Nike Training Club premium service free for the time being. The service contains tons of at-home workouts as well as videos about nutrition, mindset, and sleep. They've also started a new campaign around the current crisis with a new slogan, Play Inside, Play for the World. I also want to stop down here for a second to examine a demographic that I suspect is probably being underserved by the fitness industry right now. Kids! With no school in session, kids can't participate in their team sports and they aren't getting PE classes either. One business that's stepped in here is KidsBop. You remember KidsBop, right? KidsBop has been posting daily dance break videos live throughout the week for kids to dance along and get some exercise. If you're a gym, I would consider if there's any fun workout classes that you could develop for children. I'm sure parents who are stuck at home with their kids 24-7 would be more than happy to put on a virtual workout class and let the kids burn off some energy while being active. With everyone spending so much more time at home, more people are trying to improve their living space or take up a hobby, which leads to an interesting opportunity for stores that offer home, garden, and DIY products. In fact, many seed companies are out of stock right now because everyone wants to start their own gardens. So if you're in the plant or garden industry, now could be a great time to make some videos or live streams teaching interested customers how to garden. On the craft store front, many stores have been offering sewing kits for customers to make their own masks, both for themselves and medical personnel. In fact, Joann's Fabric has a goal to donate 100 million masks made by their customers and by their partners, and they're already well on their way. Hopefully these examples have given you a few ideas for ways you can adapt your business to better meet the needs of your customers during this crazy time. If you want more advice or support, definitely check out our e-community group on Facebook. And again, we'll put links in the description to all these businesses we mentioned today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.